All right. So, in the last episode, we got a couple shrines done, unlocked some things, and we came upon our next great fairy off screen. I went back into Gerudo Town, and I sold some jewels, and I got enough money, as you can see. I got fi over 15000 bucks now. I went ahead and turned in my next spirit orb, as you can see. I got more stamina. Um, yeah, so... Let's go ahead and let's let's go ahead and give this. Uh, oh man, I don't want to give all my money away. Oh, uh, sad. Here you go. It's a good thing I like these fairies. I'm the great Earth Fairy Terra. I'm the oldest of the four sisters. Nah, I'm not giving her that voice. <laughs> That's gonna kill my throat. I have been watching your activities from inside my butt all this time, and I haven't seen and, and haven't you been busy swinging that sword around adventuring? I'm not just making wild assumptions, you know. I truly do see all. Mm. I'll prove it right now. I'll predict what you were thinking right at this moment. You're probably thinking, can we just skip to the part where she enhances my clothing, right? <laughs> Looks like I hit the mark here. <laughs> what an impatient person. Why don't you show me your cl the clothing you want to have enhanced? Okay, but we know this. Oh. So she can enhance all of this to max. So I'll see you guys after I do all this. Here, you take a look at this. Link gets laid straight up. <laughs> hey man, these these great fairies are pretty hot. Get that thickness. All right, so Link got some tang, and here we find oh, there's a carrot. Yeah, okay, they're over here by the, this. And I uh, think there's Korok up here somewhere. I'm going to venture a guess that it's up on this. It'll be up here, isn't it? Yep. Cool beans. Um, okay. Got this here. Let's go ahead and warp. Actually, let's warp here. Get a uh, to the meat and uh, to the meat and potatoes of this episode. I don't know how long this is going to take because you you saw what on the map. You saw what I'm going to do. I'm I'm doing another one of these mazes. Let me go ahead and just you saw it right here. I'm going to go ahead and. Okay, my controller did the thing where it just stops working for a second. Desyncs. I really wish it would stop doing that. I'm back over here to the area of nothing. They really should have put a Lionel here. At least a Stone Talus. A Henox. Well, there isn't any Henoxes in the desert. I want to put a stone talus or or a uh, some kind of fight here. Just there's just it's just like this. I just hate that this is nothing. There's not even a korok to get, and it makes me sad. So very sad. There's Miss. There's our camel, buddy. 
Alright, we're not going to go see you just yet. We see it coming in distance, our goal for this episode. I don't know, depending on how this goes, this could be the only thing we do this episode. Because like I said, I'm not really good at remembering how these work. There's three in the game, this is the second one. Let's see a Korok puzzle. Go ahead and hit that up real quick. Yeah, let's get this. Yeah, I have like three different kinds right there. That's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and just break this. Take that. Alright, let's see. What we got up here? Oh, okay. Simpleness. Simpleness. Dunk it right on in there. And just drop it. Real heroes don't look at awesomeness when it happens. Alright, cool. There's a little Korok there. Oh, hey, Zap Shroom. I haven't picked very many of those up. Oh, well, I guess I have picked up more than I thought. Let's go ahead and get down into this chasm, I guess. That's what this is. Kind of can't see a thing at the moment. We will in a second, though. And this is the South Lome, question mark, Labyrinth. I want to... Main entrance is over here. I think I remember how this one goes. I don't think we did too bad in the last one, but I know I've had a couple times where I've played this and got lost in here for an hour. Um, yeah, yeah, we we know. We we talked to your your relative. We know how this song and dance works. I think we go in this way, make an immediate right. Then I think we enter up here. But yeah, just like before, we gotta find the secret entrance to the shrine. And we got some malice in here. Yep. Kind of feel our way around here. Got a grate. Great. If at any point. I get too lost. Oh, hello. Of course, I will edit out the, the fat. Well, I won't. Editor will. Hey, 300 bucks. Yeah, on the road to recovery here, after spending every penny that I had, um, I think you want to go past the malice. around the here. This looks like this would have something in it the way this room's light out. You would think. But Breath of the Wild design's kind of odd. Um going here I think. Oh, I don't have any bird boy. So let's just get over here. What's that? It's like a weapon. Uh, it's a, is that a golden bow? I think it is. I say bled of that. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Yeah. Screw you. I don't want you. I have no need. Jump. Ugh. 
See, I kind of, yeah, okay, we've been there. Rivali's Gale is now ready. Maybe go this way. I hear people upstairs walking. Yeah, I got new neighbors. I still haven't met them. We haven't talked yet. I don't know anything about them. Anything to that? Nope. Yeah, I don't want to spend too much time searching here. I'm always really bad at these. Um, let's make a right here. It's just malice again. Uh, I'm so bad at these. Okay, we're back to where the golden bow is. Is that the golden bow? I didn't want to take a picture, honestly. Uh, that's going to distract me every time. Take that off there. Let's go instead of turning right. Let's actually go past this. Let's see what's. Oh, hello. I see torches. That could be a good sign. They're probably not. Um, no, they're not. They're not. They're really not. I thought that was going to be the way. So we've got another weapon over here. A golden claymore. Um, I guess I'll take it. If I can... Ow. Can grab it. I kind of like that spear, but I kind of do want to claim more in the in the inventory because I feel like we need one. Okay, here's a different looking set of malice. Think. <laughs> Jump down here. Hey, another chest. Yes, please. I'm gonna have all my money back here soon. I need to get lost in more of these things, I guess. side of that mess. There's a malice up here. Come on, bird boy. I can't get on the malice. Okay. Well, I wasted that. Oh, hey, I think we figured it out. We did! Yeah, okay, that wasn't too bad. The Dyla Mog Shrine. Oh, I'm so relieved I didn't get too lost in that thing. I'm so relieved. All right, we got a, of course, another blessing, and I'm going to get another piece of the barbarian armor. I'm going to get the proper armor there to go with the. 
helm. Now we all need is the bottom part. And I do know where that is. That may not be in a video too far from this one. We're, we're getting close. Yeah, well, let's take, yeah, we got 105 Korok Seas and 68 Shrines. We're getting close to the end of this. All right, so, now the thing is, No, that's where we came in. There's usually a secret that's associated with each of these sh when you get to the shrine. And I don't remember. Ex uh, maybe I gotta climb up to see where the secret is. There's usually a secret close by, right? Maybe it's just. You look up. And over, nah, maybe not. Oh well. Okay, we got that done. Let's go here. So that gives us time to do some more stuff in this episode. I thought that we were going to be in a lot of trouble and that was going to take up like the whole episode. No, we're just 20 minutes in. We got a good good amount of little time left. So, I want to go here. Once again, not too far. I guess it's a little bit close to our camel buddy but we should be fine and we got some statues we've heard about these statues before now, which one of you has a thing up on top I think I see it all right so this is like a big puzzle you see down there you got like those holes and East Gerudo Ruins. Okay, yeah, that's the name of this. Um, you got these balls. Oh yeah, you can't pick them up with your hands, which is dumb. Alright, just knock you down there because that's where you need to be. But on each of these statues... They're going to have like a different emblem on it that's going to match the emblem that's on each ball. Like if you go over there, see it's got like kind of a, kind of like a weird looking Star Trek like symbol. And they're all in different places too. Like they're not all going to be in the exact same spot. So let's start with, well there's the, the Star Trek symbol there. Which one was that? Now I don't know. This one's got two dots on it. So let's just, let's take a look and see what's on this one. This one is on the foot. It's got like, a, 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 a turned on its side, side. I can't talk anymore. Why can't I speak? Turned on its side equal sign. So let's see, that's two dots. You're the Star Trek looking symbol. Where are you? Uh, you need to be yanked up out of there. Come on. All right, it's like a comma, I guess. <laughs> Uh, let's see. One of these has one inside of it. There's one over there. And this one's got a circle. This one's just... Hmm, excuse me. I'm just going to start belching. Instead of, like, trying to keep it in. 
Every time I try to keep it in, it just makes me feel sick. It's not good to hold in your burps. I mean, I can always edit them out if it bothers you guys. Um, I could swear... Use spicy peppers. There's the two dots. Again, well, I could, yeah, there, this one. There's the two lines. What is this one? You are... Oh, that's the comma. Oh, no, I ran out of energy. What will I do? All right, let's grab this one. And put you right on in your house. All right, there's one. And unfortunately, it doesn't do like a ding or anything when you get it right. It, you just got to trust that you got it right. What's that up? It's another ball up there. Well, I need to move it. Come on. Which one is this? It's like a, a V. All right, here's the two lines. So go and grab this. Link, keep moving, son. Ow! Oh, uh, at this point, it's just a matter of putting them in the right ones. I've got them all down here and where they need to be. Which one of you? Uh, that's donut, upside down V. Which one's got the squiggly line? Is it you? Uh, you're like the kind of... Star Trek symbol. Two dots. Hold on, am I missing one? I'm missing one. You think I would remember these things. But I am dumb. Okay. Here's our... Here we go. Okay, this one's the Star Trek looking thing. And I think there might be a Korok on top of this one. One of these has a Korok on it. Is it this one? Oh, hello. Down there. Hello, over there. We must find the correct ball and put it in the hole. Mr. Spock. Boom. Oh, that's probably it right there, hiding behind that grass. Yeah, they look at there. We just—I knew it was somewhere. And drop you right in there. Oh, there's a Korok. <laughs> Ow! I meant to hit it. I see you. You're on the forehead. And this one's the, the like, it's like a semicolon. Two dots or a colon. Drop you right on in there. Like, this sword is broken. But, get real quick and easy. This one's donut. And I believe it's actually just sitting right here. Yep. Toss you right on in. And that process of elimination, you should go right here. It's the last one, right? Right. Indeed. Yep. I did it. Yeah, I, I really like puzzles like this that just like, make you think. That was really cool. One of my favorite ones, actually. Alright, and that's the seven heroine side quest complete. And we got another blessing for our trouble. Money. Diamond. Flame Spear. Another freaking weapon. This thing sucks. Nope. 
really filling out that compendium, aren't I? We're kicking these shrines' butts now. Hey, hey guys. 69. Nice. Editor, can I get a nice? Give me a good one. Give me a real good one. That's right. Alright. So, before I end this, I do want to do a couple things. Hot No Village. Do, 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 do. Yes, I know that's the wrong song. I don't care. Uh, side quests. Where's our boy at? The weapon cut sword. Where's he at? Certainly he's not asleep. Five, uh, si oh, it's 6 a.m. Uh, well, we'll go ahead and go over here. Uh, and, um, yeah. I'm turning into Chef Goldblum over here. I'll go ahead and turn these uh, thingamabobbers in. Since we're here. Getting there on that third wheel. So let's head over to our house. This will clear up an inventory spot too. I, I don't know why it took so long to go do this. I should have done this forever ago. So let's put Daruk's weapon here. Perfect. Gives us uh, an inventory spot. Open the door. Alright, let's slowly make our way over to... So he'll be waking up in just a few minutes in real time. Weapon little boy that likes to look at the weapons for Grandpa. You walked into me, sir. I am the important character. You are the NPC. You get out of my way. <laughs> Link just climbing up freaking fronts of houses. And he should be waking. Link standing here and drag creepily standing over a child's bed. What the hell is going on? This is getting out of control. And he wakes. Oh, hey, we get to see the butt scoot. Do the butt scoot. Do the butt scoot. Do the butt scoot. Ah, it's so cute. Oh, I love it every time. All right, he wants to see the duplex bow, which is already on our back. Hell yeah. Wind Cleaver. So we gotta beat another Yiga. We gotta find one of those big boys. Big hefty dudes. For that. Okay. So, yeah. That's gonna be it for today. Uh, we're at about 40 minutes. It'll probably be about 35 once we cut this thing down. But, um... Thank you guys again for watching. Uh, this was a fun episode to record, actually. <laughs> Man, we're getting there. We've got a lot of blue dots on this map now. What's, what's this one? This one looks... Oh, it's the Shrine of Resurrection. But uh, we haven't even got this part of the map. In fact, that might be what I do in the next episode. So I'll see you guys around. All right, bye.